investment in young people's skill and modernization of education, uh, it's always been among key priorities uh, in cooperation with the Eastern Partnership countries. Uh, it was for people-to-people -people contacts. It was important because it brings together uh, EU and the partner countries, uh, societies, it brings together people and that has real effects on people, so it's, it's, it's an issue of mutual respect and uh, good also intercultural understanding. So we were very happy that actually since 2013 teachers from Armenia, from Azerbaijan, from Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine uh, started to participate in eTwinning Plus. It's a plus uh, because uh, it was an addition to what we already had in eTwinning. I think it was a plus also in the sense that everyone benefited from having these countries in. So Azerbaijan joined the eTwinning project back in 2013. Uh, since then we are running in 471 schools with uh, over 1400 teachers that are implementing around 1100 uh, projects at the current time. Um, the project is very popular in Azerbaijan, especially uh, because it's offering uh, international partnership opportunities, professional development programs, and at the same time offers the opportunity for Azerbaijani teachers to learn from the experiences of their counterparts in Europe and European uh, neighboring countries. Each winning plus is a wonderful opportunity for teachers to use project-based uh, learning in their teaching learning process and to make their lessons more um, uh, effective and uh, thus students became more motivated because uh, the learning process is no longer dull for them but also it integrates a fun part uh, to the learning process too. First of all, for teachers, it's a professional development. It's encouragement for their hard work, work in schools. Uh, it's a, a new way to study in schools. Uh, pupils are more motivated uh, to learn when they are participating in the projects. And for them, it's uh, uh, to see real world, uh, to see their uh, peers in, in other countries to communicate with them and understand why uh, they have to learn the English, why they need ICT and other skills in, uh, in for, for their future, for their future works. It encouraged, first of all, uh, more uh, in engagement of uh, IT technology in education. Uh, the project uh, allows students and teachers to apply innovation in their daily uh, teaching and learning. Um, and uh, most importantly, international partnership opportunities are offering every day something new to our teachers to implement into their classrooms. Besides the professional development uh, opportunities, it helps uh, teachers to um, know their students better, to go beyond the school building and uh, to know the traits and interests of their uh, students uh, and thus to uh, target the needs of the students. Um, uh, for uh, Azerbaijani teachers to uh, benefit uh, from the teacher training institutes that are part of the twinning uh, network is uh, also a good value added uh, that uh, I hope uh, more teachers will be benefiting in Azerbaijan in the near future. Um, at the same time, uh, the competition uh, that it winning uh, is uh, encouraging through um, um, uh, quality labels uh, through e-twinning school uh, competition uh, is allowing the teachers to work harder on the content, on the quality of their programs, which is uh, definitely adding value to the program uh, that we're doing in Azerbaijan. It's important to me that e-twinning is part of the bigger Erasmus Plus family. Uh, we have very ambitious plans for Erasmus uh, and in the future for the Erasmus Plus program. I think the future is bright there. And the same goes for eTwinning Plus. Uh, so in, in the future we want a very big increase. We want to make the new program more inclusive, more accessible. And uh, we will think and have the same discussion how to do this uh, in, in eTwinning. We will try to, to make eTwinning even better than it is today. We want to uh, have more combination of sort of the virtual cooperation with real uh, sort of physical mobilities where it is possible. 
Um, so I really can only encourage those who are active in eTwinning to, to, to think about the future, to come up again with new ideas for innovative approaches in education for working together. And this goes for the EU as well as in the neighboring countries. And we will all benefit from it. It will be good for the countries in the neighborhood, but it will also be good for, for, for schools in Europe and it will be good for our societies. So I think uh, we have a good, this will be good for the societies, for the economy. So we have a good future ahead of us and I'm looking forward to continuing this cooperation.